Welcome to the channel everybody, I am Benningfield. Today we have another movie car build for you. It is the Supra from The Fast and the Furious. That is right, the orange one, the iconic one that Brian O'Connor, Paul Walker, drove in the first Fast and the Furious movie. If you'd like to own this vehicle and add it to your collection, first thing you have to do is bring up your phone and go on over to the legendary Motorsports and you're gonna buy this bad boy right here, the Dinka Jester Classic. Bring it up at 790000 You can order it in whatever color you want because we're going to change it. They do offer it in the orange, but the orange isn't quite right, so we're going to change it anyway. So just order it up in any color you'd want. And whenever it does arrive at your garage, you can take it down to any Los Santos Customs or you can take it to your office garage workshop, whatever's more convenient for you. And I'll get into some of the cosmetics of it so we can uh, make it look almost identical to it. It's real close. There's a couple parts on it that are kind of on the border you can choose between but uh, armor and brakes are not going to worry about that's up to you completely but first uh, cosmetic one we're going to bumpers front bumpers and this is one that could be up for dis debate the low splitter is the one I went with it keeps that uh, the front of the grill smaller but it's not quite as aggressive on the bottom it was all the same color all the way down the bottom but you get down the bottom splitters you don't want the carbon you could go with the drift bumper, but it just makes that front square just way too big. And then the drift, uh, down here you got the drift with the intercooler. And it wasn't chromed out, you couldn't see the intercooler. So my suggestion would be the uh, low splitter. So go with that on the rear bumper. You do not want any of these. He didn't have any kind of diffuser on it, no carbon on the back. So you just keep that stock rear bumper. For the chassis, this is kind of important. Go to the... Uh, the roll cage, it did have a roll cage in it and it was black so you want to go to secondary cage and you don't want the secondary down here because it changes your sports seats and we don't want those red seats. We want the original seats in it so we can change that color to blue because they were blue. So secondary cage is what you want. The engine upgrade, I'd suggest maxing out but that's up to you. For the exhaust, this is correct. Go down to the uh, single chrome exhaust. He, he had the one single chrome exhaust. I do believe it was on the other side on his car, but that is closest we're going to get in game. But it is pretty close. Explosives you definitely don't want. Headlight covers, we want no headlight covers. He didn't have any of that kind of stuff on there. So just leave that at no headlight. The fenders, you want the rear spats. It puts that little arch on it. He did have that on the back, uh, and he didn't have any kind of like wide body kit. So we'll go with the rear spats on that. For the hood, this is very important. This is almost identical to his hood. You want the performance hood, so make sure you go down and get that. Performance hood is perfect. Horn doesn't matter. Lights always do. Xenon, I don't guess that's really that quite important. Uh, the neon kits. I did not put one on this car because uh, out of all the shots I've seen of it at night in the movie, I didn't see any neon, so I did not do that on this car. You may, uh, if you find out different, you may want to correct me and or go ahead and do some livery very important 10 minute car then that puts that is the identical livery to what he has that is beautiful and it is a direct reference to the movie because this is the car when Dom told him he owed him a 10 second car and uh, Rockstar jokingly called it a 10 minute car livery so that's uh, it's a direct reference but yeah get that for sure Lost and theft should already have plate I went with the black and changed it for you didn't be just uh, for giggles but that doesn't really matter uh, Respray, this is the important part. Primary color, I went with metallic and orange, just the plain orange. Uh, I've seen Sunrise and I've seen Bright. It's kind of in between the orange and Sunrise Orange if you want to get technical, but I think the orange is the closest. So go with metallic orange. For the secondary color, I went with the matte black because that does get his roll cage was black. So uh, I, I just like to look at the matte better. And the trim color, ultra blue. He had the bright blue seats. So, and that's what it changes the seats and the side panels on the car. So go with the ultra blue. For the roof, leave it stock. He didn't have any uh, scoops on it. So roof would be stock. You don't want to sell it. Skirts, you want the primary lip skirts. These are really close. He actually did have the little uh, writing on it and the decals and stuff. It wasn't carbon though. So the primary, primary lip skirt for the spoiler. I went with the Carbon Wing Type 3. Uh, his was actually on the very top, it had that chrome look to it, but the legs on it were chrome, or whatever you call those, and the top of the spoiler, but the sides were black. This is the closest you can get. It is really close. I mean, for our GTA standards, it's really close. So, Carbon Wing Type 3 spoiler. 
and suspension i dropped it all the way i just think it looks better on most cars especially this one transmission turbos up to you for the wheels this is the other one uh, i've seen a couple different types this is the one that i preferred and i'll tell you the reasoning why but uh go to the sport and i went with the chrome i got the Lazspeed speed mkv or mk5 and that's the ones I have on it. Uh, they were a five spoke rim. They were a little bit wider in these, but they did have the line in the center of each one of the stars, if you see what I'm saying on the spokes. So that is why I chose this one. Another one that you can go with and that I've seen if you prefer it personally, uh, the Wangen Master. This is about the right width, but it didn't have the lines in the middle, so I just preferred the other one. So I would go uh, personally, I went with them. So. If you want to be exactly like that, we'll go to Laws Speed MKV. Then you will go uh, wheel color. You don't want anything. Uh, tires. Uh, well, back up. Tires. I went with the Bulletproof tires. I do suggest that tire design. We do not want ever. Didn't have any kind of writing on them. And smoke doesn't really matter. I went with the black, but that doesn't make a difference. And for the windows, I limoed it out. Uh, you could actually go more of like a light smoke or probably closer. I just like it darked out. But yeah, go with the limo tent, and you can exit on out, and there you go. You have Paul Walker's Supra, Mr. Brian O'Connor from Fast and the Furious 1. One of the more, uh, besides the Charger, probably one of the most iconic, movie, uh, most, uh, iconic vehicles from that movie. And I'm really glad Rockstar added this car, so uh, yeah, stay tuned for some more builds. If you have any suggestions on some movie car builds to do, just let me know down in the comments below and we will try to get them done and I appreciate everybody coming out I am Benningfield if you are new please sub if you enjoyed it hit that like button and follow me on Twitter Benningfield01 I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out